Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. We come back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is Thou Shall Not Kill or Murder. Thou Shall Not Kill or Murder. Of course, you know a lot of people, uh, 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 every day when you turn the TV on, a lot of people are being, uh, being killed each and every day, you know, mass shooting, you know what I'm saying? So spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth. And the idea about it that, you know, uh, the Lord put the spirit on me to uh, bring out a lesson about uh, uh, the difference between killing and murdering. So the idea about it is that, you know, the Bible has been revised, has been translated over uh, the centuries, you know, back in ancient time. So, you know, the idea about it, you will have to go back to the Hebrew and to the Greek, you know what I'm saying? Back to the root. You know, and back to the original versions, you know, to find out, uh, the, to get the understanding, you know what I'm saying? So when you read Deuteronomy chapter uh, 5 and verse 17, it said, thou shall not kill. It should read, thou shall not murder. So the idea about it, you know, killing is is, is righteous, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to wartime, you know, like when King David, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he was a mighty warrior, you know what I'm saying? When he was in war, you know, he said, David, uh, his 10,000, Saul, his thousand. So the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? Killing was 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 righteous, you know what I'm saying? During wartime, then doing when the, uh, uh, the, the Levi priest, when they uh, brought the, uh, the, did the uh, sacrificial, uh, uh, the sacrifice, you know, the burnt offerings and stuff for the Lord, and they cut up the lamb and stuff like they killed the lamb. They did not murder the lamb. So it's a, it's a, it's a different. It's a lot of confusion is going on with that one uh, scripture, you know, that one uh, a commandment. I think it's the sixth commandment, which in fact thou shall not kill. When in fact it should read thou shall not murder. So the idea about it is a lot of people have a, a misunderstanding of uh, of of that uh, of that commandment, and the idea about it. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, you know, I'm going to bring out a little short lesson to try to get a little edification and try to uh, get some understanding, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, I hope this lesson edify you and that it bring you closer to your true power, which is the fact that Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. And the idea about it is that, um, you know, a lot of people are still is not in the know, you know, a lot of people still in dogging, a lot of people are still uh, are, are walking in the congregation of the dead. You know, it's time right now to wake up and seek. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So I put together a little new, I mean, a, a little uh, video uh, clip. You know, it's about a minute or something long. And then I did about it. I have another little, little uh, news article to try to get a little understanding the difference between kill and murder. So that I did about it. So we'll get started with this little short video. And uh, I hope that you get edified and that you can see this video. And uh, we'll get started. One moment. One moment. Here at we least go. three people were killed on Sunday in a shooting at an Austin, Texas apartment complex in what was the second shooting in the United States in one day involving multiple victims. Austin Police Department Acting Police Chief Joseph Chacon said a manhunt is still underway for the suspect. Our suspect uh, at this point, we think we know who it is. He is tentatively identified as Stephen Nicholas Broderick. He's a black male, 41 years of age. He's described as being five foot seven with an average build. He's wearing a gray hoodie, uh, sunglasses, and a baseball cap. The shooting occurred near a popular shopping area in the northwest part of the city, startling local residents. I'm a little worried just because, you know, we know a lot of our neighbors and our dogs were here and everything, but Officials noted that while the suspect is still at large, the shooting appears to be a domestic isolated incident and there appears to be no risk to the general public. 1,200 miles away, another shooting rang out early on Sunday morning when a gunman opened fire at a bar in Kenosha County, Wisconsin, killing three. The violence comes as Americans are already on edge after a spate of deadly mass shootings in the United States over the past month. So I hope you got edified by a little short video. So we'll get a little bit more edification about kill and murder. So, you know, it's, it's always good to uh, search up your work. And when I first came in this truth, you know, it, you know, it was kind of 
uh, 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 I couldn't understand a lot until I started to uh, go and searching out the words and the root words and uh, uh, what the original version, you know, where, you know, where this word come from, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you had to go into the Greek and into the uh, uh, Hebrew, you know, to find out the true meaning, you know what I'm saying? So the ideal body, you know, you must study, show yourself approved each and every day, you know what I'm saying? And the ideal body, you know what I'm saying? You know, in, in all you're getting, you have to get understanding. So, uh, the news clip said that he killed three people. So the ideal about it, you know, it said killing is righteous, but you know, it's a murder is, is against the law, the law, statute, and commandment. So the ideal about it, three people's got murdered yesterday. And so the, 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 the uh, definition of murder is that the illegal or immoral taking of a life of human life. So the ideal about it is that, you know what I'm saying, that's what happened yesterday. He took three lives, you know what I'm saying? And the ideal about it, you know what I'm saying, the law, you know, uh, 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 does not, you know, that's breaking the law. You know, so that's transgression against the law. Thou shall not uh, 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 murder instead of saying thou shall not uh, kill. You know, when, he, when you read Deuteronomy chapter uh, 5 and, and verse 17. So the ideal about it, let's go, let's go to this little, get a little bit more edification. Not to meant to be a long lesson, just trying to... Uh, get a little clarification on this uh on this just one uh verse you know a lot of people you know get you know have a problem with that you know and i'm trying to bring it out and trying to get a little bit more understanding and then hope that you get uh edified by it also through the spirit and power of yahweh by shem yahweh Shah. so now we get started with this little news article and it reads that ask almost anyone to recite the commandment of the ten commandment that pro prohibits taking a life and you will be told thou shall not kill that that is the king james version of the sixth commandment overall it is a magnificent translation but this one has led to much moral confusion let me stroll down a little bit and say you would think that of all the ten commandments of that that needs the least explaining is the six because it seems so clear it is the one it is it is that so like it is the one that the king james bible the most widely used english translation of the bible translate as thou shall not kill Yet the truth is is quite opposite. This is probably the least well understood of the Ten Commandments. The reason is that the, the Hebrew original does not say do not kill. It says do not murder. Both Hebrew and English have two words for taking a life. One is kill, and, 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 and it said Harak in, in, in Hebrew, I'm hoping I'm saying that right. And the other, the other is murder. And it, in, in Hebrew, it says, uh, raza, you know, so I'm hoping that I'm saying that right too. But one thing about it is that, you know, it's a, it's a totally different. And it said the difference between the two is enormous. Kill me taking any life, whether of a human being or a animal. So they're just like the ideal about it. You know, Esau eat him so-called red meat. He loved to go out and hunt. You know what I'm saying? He is a cunning hunter. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't go out. He said, I'm finna go out and, and murder a deer. You know, he would not say that. He would say he going out to kill a deer, you know, or going to hunt a deer. So the ideal about it, you know, that's totally different. You know what I'm saying? And the ideal about it, you know, like, you know, you say, I killed that mosquito. You wouldn't say that you murder a mosquito. You know what I'm saying? So the ideal about it is that, you know, like someone got accidentally got killed. You know what I'm saying? So you wouldn't say someone accidentally, accidentally uh, got murdered. So it's, 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 it's just different. It's a lot of confusion. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we have to always go back and search up uh, words, you know what I'm saying? And meanings of words, you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. If he's dealing with you and the Holy Spirit rests upon you, you will be it will, you will be able to understand it, you know what I'm saying? So the idea about it is that, you know, I just want to bring a little clarity to that, you know, and uh, I'm hoping that you are uh, constantly get edified by this lesson. So the idea about it is a very confusion, you know, just that thou shall not kill when it should read, thou shall not murder. 
So the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? Those are, uh, uh, that's the six, uh, uh, t uh, uh, well, of the Ten Commandments, so like, of the Ten Commandments, that is the sixth one. And it says, thou shall not kill. When he shall read, thou shall not murder. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it over and over again to try to get edification. So the idea about it, you know, so a, a lot of us, you know, like on uh, yesterday, the guy at Austin killed, said he killed three people when he should, uh, sh it should read, uh, should come out saying that he murdered three people. So when he get ready to go to court and they, they're not going to say that he, that he's getting charged, uh, first degree killing for killing three people. He's going to be first degree murder. So the idea about it, you know, the idea about it, you cannot take, uh, 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 shed innocent blood. You know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, the Bible prohibits that. You know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, that's a, one of the commandments, you know, thou shall not murder. And the idea about it, uh, People are doing it left and right, you know what I'm saying? It's, they say killing, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you get killed in an accident, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, you got killed, you know what I'm saying? But the idea about it, if someone taking your life, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, if it's not like wartime, you know, uh, uh, or it's not, you know, uh, let's see what else, uh, another uh, thing I can say about killing, you know, like sacrificial, you know, uh, for animals, you know, you hunting for food, you know what I'm saying? So you had to kill the animal. You did not murder the animal. So it's, it is, it's, it's, it's kind of confusion, but the idea about it through the uh, spirit and power, you have about, by Shem, you have shall, we'll get through this lesson. So now let's, uh, let's, let's go to, uh, see where I want to go to now. Let's go to Matthews, get a little bit more edification. Let's go into strip in the scriptures now. Just a few little scriptures, then we'll close out. One moment. One moment. We'll get to, uh, let's go to Matthews. Matthew chapter, let's see where I want to go to. Matthew chapter 5, and we'll start up at verse 21. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 21. And it reads, ye, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shall not kill, but it should read, thou shall not murder. And whosoever shall kill or shall murder shall be in danger of judgment. Let's read that again. And we're going to read it uh, in uh, the original way it's supposed to be read instead of take the kill out and put the murder in it. And so it, it'll read like this. is in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shall not murder, or whosoever shall murder shall be in danger of the judgment. So the idea about it, anytime when you take enemy, uh, 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 innocent uh uh, innocent life, you know, and the idea about it, whether they was innocent or not, don't no one uh, perish being innocent, but the idea about it, when you take a soul, the idea about it, you know what I'm saying, judgment is upon you, you know what I'm saying, so the idea about it, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, that's one of the uh, Ten Commandments, you know what I'm saying, you know, and, and, and a lot of us constantly breaking it each and every day, and the biggest breaker of it is Esau, even so-called white man, but he has that sword from the left-hand side. When you read about that in Genesis chapter uh, 27 and verse 40, if I'm not mistaken, he's using it each and every day. He is very quick to kill you. So the idea about it, you know, is it, 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 it's very important to, to, to stay close and study, you know what I'm saying? And watch, pray, and be sober because the idea about it, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Your life can be taken at any given moment. You know what I'm saying? Just every day, like clockwork, someone is getting murdered each and every day. They'll say kill, but a lot of people are getting murdered each and every day. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about judgment is upon them. And I deal about and judgment is upon the house of Israel, that rebellious house. They didn't want to return to your house by Shem Yahweh Shah. So now we start back up in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 22. But I say unto you that Whosoever is angry with his brother without a, without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his his brother, Raka, meaning worthless or empty, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever sh uh, shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. So the idea about it is that, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you shouldn't call your brother out of his name, shouldn't call him worthless or call him a fool, you know what I'm saying? But the idea about it that, you know, it's in the middle of the Lord, a sign of crying each and every day. They're trying to get you to come back, trying to get you to, to repent, you know what I'm saying? Come back on, a, on the uh, obedience, you know what I'm saying? Stop being rebased. Because each and every day is someone getting murdered, not killed, murdered. You know what I'm saying? The idea about it, you know, it's a thou shall not murder instead of saying thou shall not kill. But the idea about it is a lot of confusion 
going on. A lot of people are still walking in darkness. A lot of people are trusting in the strength of Egypt, you know, trusting in the so-called white man, which in fact is the Lord's sword, you know, what I'm saying? his whipping stick. And he's he's getting ready to come down with that great flood. A lot of people is getting ready to get killed. You know, it's called that is a righteous judgment because recompense of judgment is on the way. So the idea about it, we must know the difference between uh, kill and murder. You know what I'm saying? So the idea about it, we'll start back up. Let's go to uh, get a little more edification. Let's go to the first murder. Let's go to Genesis chapter. Let's go to Genesis chapter. Uh, let's see where I want to start. Genesis chapter four. And we'll start with verse eight. Genesis chapter four and verse eight. And it reads, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass. When they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. So the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? Cain, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, who has the spirit of Cain? Uh, Esau, even the so-called white man, the red man. Genesis chapter 25 and 25, the first one came out red. That's the same spirit, you know what I'm saying, that's in Esau and in any so-called uh, white people today. The red man, the white man, you know what I'm saying? Salak, the Edomites, you know what I'm saying? The Hebrew Edomites, and the idea about it. Cain slew his brother. When you, you look up the word slew, it only mean, you know, killed. He he murdered his brother. So that was the first murder, you know, that that uh, occurred on this earth. And the idea about it, uh, murdering being been going on left and right, been multiplying left and right because uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, it will only be more blood shed until Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, take him out the way. So now we'll get a little follow up. Get a precept to Genesis chapter four and verse eight. We'll go to uh, let's go to uh, let's see where I want to go to now. Let's go to John's chapter eight. John's chapter eight. One moment. John's chapter eight and verse forty-four. Get a little bit more edification and a precept to uh, 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 Genesis chapter four and uh, uh, verse eight. Salaki. So now we'll start up at John chapter eight. Trying to keep all these precepts together. John chapter 8 and verse 44. And it reads, Ye are your fathers the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. So the idea about <clears throat> so like it, <clears throat> the idea about it is that you know what I'm saying. The first murderer was was Cain. You know what I'm saying. The idea about it in the reincarn uh, reincarnation. You know what I'm saying. Came back as Esau. So the idea about it, that is the wicked seed. You know the serpent seed. And the idea about it, you know what I'm saying. They they uh, have that blessing. The sword. You know the gun. The modern day gun. The knife. You know they love to hunt. They love to kill. They love to shed blood each and every day. A murdering killing uh pillaging raping you know what i'm saying so the idea about it it will only intensify because he's ruling the earth right now we are in a transition of power right now thou shall not murder rather than saying thou shall not kill but that is going on each and every day you know like clockwork every 24 hours as i'm making this video right now not to be meant to be funny you know someone probably is getting killed right now and the idea about it it's time to seek your how about shim your how about shot at all costs. And the idea about it is that, you know what I'm saying, it will only get worse. You are getting ready to come down with a great flood upon us. You know what I'm saying? Thou shall not murder rather than saying thou shall not kill. So that's the difference. It's a different in between it. Only in wartime, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when, when King David, you know, in the mighty man, you know what I'm saying? They killed a lot of blood. They shed a lot of blood, but it was a righteous judgment. So the idea about it is that we must know the difference in that, you know, and, uh, and uh, you know, and it's a lot of confusion going on because we are in the land of confusion, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of our people follow out after the, the so-called Gentiles and the idea about it, our people are murdering each and every day, murdering each other each and every day, killing one another, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the spirit of, of, of Cain is in the earth, you know, the, the, the spirit of Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of killing and wickedness going on right now. But, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is getting ready to set things back into order. So we'll go to our last and final uh, uh, chapter. We'll go to James. Let's go to James. We'll close out with James. Not to meant to be a long list. Uh, James chapter 4. And we'll start at verse 7. James chapter 4 and verse 7. 
Submit yourself, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So the idea about it is that, you know, if you resist, you know what I'm saying, uh, the devil's sake, you know what I'm saying, also the so-called white man, and the idea about it, you won't be getting caught up in all these murder, murdering and trying to have the wrong spirit. You'll be in the right spirit, you know what I'm saying, when you submit to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. And the idea about it is that, you know what I'm saying, the devil is running rapid, you know, it's in the earth, you know, the spirit, his spirit is running through the earth rapid, you know what I'm saying? And I deal about it, you know, you, you just have him killing each and every day. And a lot of people trying to figure out what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And I deal about it, that judgment is coming down. And it first will start at the house of Israel, you know what I'm saying? Thou shall not murder. And I deal about it, you know, we've been killing one another left and right, you know what I'm saying? Over, you know, in, you know, in ancient time, in this time, you know, we are quick to kill our own brother, to murder our own brother each and every day, you know, with no cause, you know what I'm saying? The first murderer was Cain, and all of a it's just been a domino effect, you know, all out through the, the, the generations, you know, so the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to come back to cleanse this place eat, uh, very soon, you know what I'm saying? We are hastening that great and glorious return of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now we'll, we'll go down to uh, James chapter 4 and verse 13. Go now ye that say today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. So that deal about, it, you know, uh, on yesterday in Austin, those, those people didn't know they, they was getting ready to uh, die. And I deal about, it, you know, they was going on with their daily lives like they normally do, you know, having fun, you know, spending time with their family, you know what I'm saying? No worries, you know, not seeking their true power. Then all of a sudden, they life were taken. They life were taken away from them. You know what I'm saying? But that deal about the spirit of the Lord is moving through the earth now. You know what I'm saying? The deal about it's time to seek Him while He can't be found. So now, let's start back up at James chapter four and verse uh, fourteen. Whereas ye know not what shall be on 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 tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time. And then vanish away. Verse 15. For that ye ought to say. If the Lord's will. We shall live. And do this or do that. So that I deal about it. You know. On you know. A lot of people. You know what I'm saying. Uh, are leaving this earth. You know what I'm saying. Left and right. You know what I'm saying. So you're here today. And you're gone tomorrow. Just like that. You know. You're out of here. You know what I'm saying. That I deal about it. The judgment of the Lord. is coming down. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people are constantly. Still not seeing it. Are constantly. It's still in their comfort zone. Are constantly uh, uh, are not worrying about uh, 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 seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Despising the men of the Lord. The ones that have been signing and crying each and every day. Sounding like a broken record. But the idea about it, he's only coming back for that one third elect because the idea about it, we trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the idea about it is that, you know, you just look around, you know, you know, it, it just, it, you know, it, 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 it's constantly building up. All hell is getting ready to break loose very soon. And the idea about it, you know, you must put Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah first. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's will, I would do the, the Lord's will, I would do that. You know what I'm saying? So the idea about it, you know, that would be your hedge of protection. You know what I'm saying? If the Lord is dealing with you each and every day and ask him to guide you, you know, in this wicked kingdom, you know, in the valley in the shallow, shadow of death, people are getting murdered. Murder here each and every day and getting killed left and right. So the title of day left and once again, thou shall not murder, thou shall, so like it, thou shall not kill or murder. That's the title of day left. Thou shall not kill or murder. It's very confusing, but the idea about it is that, you know, hope that uh, this lesson gave you a little uh, 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 understanding, a little edification on that, you know what I'm saying? And the idea about it, you know, where well, we're going to constantly do the the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I would do it the, the 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 portion that he gave me the best of my ability each and every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sigh and cry and work out my own salvation with fear and trembling. So the title of the day lesson once again is Thou shalt not kill or murder. I like to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Rakakadash, and I like to say Shalom.